Hi you guys, I'm glad you made it back. But if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to my GMC do-it-yourself repair channel. In my channel here, you'll see I have tons of videos that I'm sure that I have something in here that'll interest you. It doesn't take a lot of experience or knowledge and doesn't take a lot of tools. And one thing for sure, you're gonna save tons of money. So before you go to a mechanic or the dealership, click on the upper right hand corner there and explore my channel. I'm sure I have something in there that's gonna save you some money. But before before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This really helps my channel. And by the way, hit that bell and leave a comment. And believe it or not, if you leave a comment, I respond back to you. Yeah, I know, I don't have a life, so I have nothing else better to do. All right, you made it back. Thanks for stopping in again. Well, as you may or may not know, I've had my GMC Yukon Denali for about two or three years. Anyway, one day I was driving and I was adjusting my mirrors, you know, just putting my hand down there and pressing the buttons to adjust it. Next thing you know, my mirrors folded in. I guess I hit the wrong button. Anyway, I've had this vehicle at the time for about a year and I had no idea these mirrors folded in and folded out. Since at the time I didn't have an owner's manual, I had no idea how to do this on demand. So there I was hitting some buttons to try to make it work again, but it took me a while to figure it out, but I figured it out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you, if you don't know already, how to make your mirrors fold in and fold out. But before we get started, I wanted to tell you, watch the video all the way to the end because I've got some bonus information for you. So watch the video all the way to the end. Okay, let's go down and take a look at your mirror switches. As you know, if you switch the top switch to the left, then you move down to the four-way control pad. And if you move it left to right, your mirror will move left to right. And if you go to the four-way control pad again, and you move it up and down, your mirror goes up and down, correct? And of course, if you go above the, to the switch above again, and you move that rocker switch all the way to the right, you can control the passenger side mirror and do the same thing with the four-way control pad. Now, just for your information, FYI, the rocker switch will either go left or center or right. Now, I was told by a master mechanic, I don't know if it's true or not, I'm gonna assume it is, is to keep the rocker switch on the center. If you don't do that, let's say for instance, you have it powered to the left, the mirror motor will always stay on and it'll eventually burn out quicker. The same thing if it's all the way to the right. Your passenger side mirror will eventually burn out quicker. So when not in use, put the rocker switch in the middle position and it'll turn off both your mirrors. And if you also notice, if you have the rocker switch in the middle, your four-way control pad is lit up. If your four-way control pad is lit up, that means that both your mirrors are off. Now, if you want to fold your mirrors in, this light has to be on. Okay, now that that center light is on, on your four-way control switch, you're now ready at any time to close your folding mirrors. You want that upper toggle in the middle and you'll see your four-way pad is lit up and you're ready to go. Now what I did is I started my vehicle making sure it's in park and I pressed down in the middle of the four-way control pad. I press the right side down just for a moment then release my finger and what that does is it causes the mirror to close. Once it closes press down on the four-way controller and press on the left side and that'll move it back to the open correct position and that's how simple it is. Man it took me a couple of days to figure this out though. Here, let me show you again how it works. Remember to press the center of the four-way switch first before you hit your right or left button. See how easy this is? All right, 
Now it's time to show you the bonus informational videos you may be interested in. I have a few fold away mirror DIY videos you may be interested in, from replacing your mirror to resetting your fold away mirrors, and how do you turn on your defroster on your fold away mirror, and a few more. Just go ahead and click above on the right hand corner and it'll take you there. Well, I hope these videos help you. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.